And we're back with Richard Hinton, who is going to tell you more about foleying and being a foley artist. In this one, Richard will share with you how he finds inspiration, what is behind his creativity, how he finds the ideas that eventually lead him to creating the sounds that are used in TV, cinema and documentary movies. He will also share with you three tips or three props that you can buy that are easily accessible and that you can use to practice making foley and that are used actually to make a lot of the sounds that you can hear in the documentaries and so on. Welcome to our channel, How Real Life Works. We'll talk about all the stuff that school doesn't teach you. So yeah, I wanted to ask, where do you find inspiration for creating the sounds especially for the for the nature documentaries because so far we've been talking mostly about like walking walking sounds but i can imagine like i don't know like if it's a documentary especially like hunting like when an animal bites into another animal like how would i create a sound for that in terms of getting inspiration for sounds you you start off by thinking about naturally what do you think your what would your brain think it would sound like what do you think it should sound like because everybody has some kind of idea you learn from experience of just living in the world what things sound like uh, and that's basically your starting point and then we'll try and take it to the next level so you obviously i don't have like a wildebeest in my studio that i can start <laughs> hacking up we could go to the butchers and get a side of beef or something but um you know, that gets messy and stinky really, really quickly. And my, you know, my booth would start looking like a butcher shop very, very quickly. <laughs> and um, that would not be pleasant. So you have to look at alternative ways of making those sounds. So I, I do a lot of mouth work. So I'll use my own mouth and I'll get it right tight on the microphone so I can exaggerate sort of lip sounds and, you know, teeth sounds and get a bit of, cotton cloth which we can tear which will do for flesh ripping sounds um we'll get something like um you know wet rags that we can manipulate which will make it sound like sort of lumps of flesh getting moved around and torn about and so basically something like that will build up in layers and it's all about trying to recreate what your brain thinks it will sound like and the key to foley is a lot of the time as long as the sound that you're making matches the action on screen, the brain will marry the two and the sound becomes believable just because it fits and sits with the visuals that's been presented to you. Right. I was actually thinking, does it, in this sense, like, would you ever observe, like, something you're supposed to do? Um, let's say, like, I, I guess in nature it's a little bit too, uh, difficult to observe some of these sounds, but as long as it kind of matches, that's what you're saying. Like the brain would just make make yeah. sense of all of this. So it doesn't really matter what how reality sounds like when a tiger bites into another prey. As long as it resembles, then yeah, it's I mean, fine. I mean, obviously, there's a you know within boundaries. You know, a telephone ring or a phone ring over a line munching. It's not going to work, even if it sinks somehow <laughs> magically sinks. Your brain isn't going to go, oh, that's the sound of a tiger eating something. <laughs> right. So it, it has to contain certain, ele resemblance. certain elements of frequency that your brain thinks, oh, yeah, that's what a mouth sounds like, or that's what teeth sounds like, or that's what I expect ripping flesh to sound right. like. But if it's a tiger eating a telephone, it's pretty good. I yeah, no, that would be all right. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Yeah, 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 that would work. Like, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <continue>. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Foley and, I guess, equipment while we wrapped up the interview, what would you say is three uncommon Foley tips that you could give to the audience who ever is, like, starting to try? Uncommon Foley tips? Yeah. Try anything. Uh, I don't know whether that's uncommon, but try anything. Don't be don't be afraid to experiment. Well, it's difficult because they're all quite cliche when I start thinking about them. I could give you three props that are useful to have in your tool bag. Yeah, that works. Quarter inch tape is invaluable, and for young people who have no idea what tape is, quarter inch <laughs> tape is what we used to master audio onto. It, it came on big reels. And uh, if you see old films, uh, they're big tape machines with big reels moving around, and mm -hmm. it's, it's quarter inch deep. You'll be able to get it on eBay. 
buy yourself a couple of reels of quarter inch tape. It is amazing for grass wading. It's amazing for bushes. Um, certainly in, if you live in a seasonal country, certainly in this country, we have, um, when the leaves fall off the trees, we are very short on, you know, leaf sounds, foliage, natural foliage that we can go and raid. And a quarter inch tape is, makes such a good leaf chassis sound. It's a really good filler in winter when we can't get leaves. It's really good if you put it in water. It's really good seaweed sound. Really useful stuff. So get some quarter inch tape. Um, chamois leather, which you use for drying your car. Um, some of that is amazing. Really useful for anything squidgy. You can make mud sounds with it without having to get messy. You can do water squirt sounds with it. Again, super useful thing. And the other thing I would recommend is a uh, a bag of cornstarch or custard powder, depending on which country you live in, whether you know what custard powder is. I, I don't think custard powder is universal, but certainly cornstarch is. It does the same job. Get that into a bag, tie the bag up so it doesn't escape. Really good for snow crunch. So uh, manipulate it and you'll get a really nice kind of snow crunch out of it, fresh snow powder snow crunch out of it. And uh, it's right. just incredibly useful, incredibly useful for that sort of stuff. Those were the tips from Richard. If you're interested in Foley artists, make sure to check out our other videos that we did with Richard. In the meantime, if you are a high school student or a young person that's interested in content creation, there's a way how you can join our team. We can share with you everything that we've learned so far, and then maybe eventually you can go on and create your own podcast or YouTube channel. There's a link below in the YouTube description that you can use to let us know about your interest. We will get in touch with you and then hopefully we'll do something. So our team of interns is slowly growing so please be sure to check out the opportunity and join us if you're interested in the meantime if you like what we're doing if you like this content our youtube channel make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and i will see you in some other video bye bye